Hey guys, today we're going to be running a compression test and a leak down test on this old Simplicity tractor. I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, now to use this tool, see the end of it here? So it's kind of like an air chuck. Now you're going to have different uh, different sizes of these, the fittings. This one's the right size. You can also use this a bigger size if you need to. Now all you're going to do is pull your spark plug out, which I've already got out here. I did uh, put the gap where it's supposed to be. Remember the gap was all screwed up on it. So, first thing you're going to want to do is screw this in to your spark plug hole. Now you don't need any tools to, to, uh, to tighten this up or anything like that. Just screw it in until it stops. That's all you need to do. It don't, doesn't need to be super tight. Now we're going to put this on here. Just like this. Alright, then we're going to crank this over for a few seconds. Now, another thing you're going to want to do before you do this is make, your, make sure you're on wide open throttle. Okay, and, and that don't just mean on these, that don't just mean up here. You're going to want your throttle wide open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prop the governor open with something. Now what I've done, I've stuck a screwdriver down into the... Uh, between the block of the engine and the uh, the governor arm. Now, on a car, you're not going to have a governor, but you still have to have that throttle wide open. So, if you want, you can have someone hold it open, you can wire it open, whatever, but make sure you're on wide open throttle. And then we're going to crank it for a few seconds. We're going to see what we can get this up to, okay? Now, I'm not sure, but I believe this may have uh, it's a pressure release valve, compression release valve. Okay, so um, if it's got one of them, I'm going to get a low reading on this. That's why we're going to also do a leak down test. But if it doesn't, which this is a 16 horsepower, I'm pretty sure it does. But if it if it doesn't, uh, you know, I'm going to be looking, I want to see around 90 to, anything over 90 would be super. But, let's see what we got here. Can you guys see that? Let's bring you a little closer. I'll try to hold it there, watch it and crank at the same time. It's looking like about 74 pounds. Okay, that's a dry test. Now we're going to do a wet test. And take there's a little button here. You push this button, and that releases it. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil in that cylinder and see if the uh, compression comes up and then we're going to do a leak down test now for the wet test and that brought it up to 76 okay now we're going to do the leak down test which I need to put this on top dead center and let me get my air hose out of here out here okay guys I've got my air compressor set up to about oh about, it's about 104 so I want it to be around 100 so once I plug it in it should drop down now 
on these engines, what you're going to want to look for. My light's not shining. No. Okay. What you're going to want to look for, or actually, you're going to want to listen. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, as you can see, I took the gauge end off of there. That's what we're going to plug our air hose into. Now, you're going to want to listen and listen real close for air. And there's three places you're going to want to do that. Number one, it doesn't matter in any order. You're going to want to listen for air coming out the exhaust. You're going to want to listen for air coming out of the block. And you're going to want to listen for air coming out of the carburetor. So let's plug this in. Now, a lot of times, when you plug this in, your, your engine is going to want to turn on you. Okay? Now I'll show you what I've done. I've stuck a ratchet. Where are you at? Down in here and over on to the crank bolt to keep it from turning. So I've got it locked in there. So let's plug this in and see if we can hear anything. Okay. Now, nothing coming out of the exhaust. There's a little bit coming out of here. Here's my main concern. You hear that? Remember I heard it like popping through the carburetor the other day? So, I think that's my culprit. I've got a little bit of blow by coming through here. There's no doubt at 104 pounds that it's going to have some blow by because I know the rings the rings are probably worn a little bit I'm going to be going in here shortly it's 90 degrees with a real feel of 105 and it's supposed to get up to 95 regular temperature so I'm going to clean up my tools. I'm not going to pull the head off of it today because I don't have a gasket set to put it back together. So that might be a weekend project. Okay guys, I just wanted to add a couple things to this video. A lot of you guys might be saying, well why did you set your air compressor at 100 pounds when you know it only had 76 pounds of compression? Well there's two reasons. Number one is, I want it to be over 90 pounds. Okay. And number two, yeah, if, it, if it's going to leak, it's going to leak at 80. But you may not hear it as well when you got traffic going by, you got the birds chirping, you're outside. So I set it at 100 just to be safe so I could hear it a lot better. Okay, so that's why I did that. Now remember, guys, uh, like I said, these things, you know, have a compression release valve. So that way, like sometimes if you put a brand new battery in your in your little tractor, wouldn't start so you you put a new solenoid on still wouldn't want to crank and you put a, a new starter on didn't want to crank but you pull the spark plug out and it cranks over real easy that's because it's got it's got a lot of compression them engines have got a lot of compression i'm not sure exactly what it is um wanting to say nine to one i'm not positive on that but let's just say it's nine to one uh so that would come out to about 130 uh, PSI on compression so it might not be that much I don't know uh, that's an example now if uh, if it's and it starts cranking over real fast that compression release valve might be bad what that does is these have a lot of compression because they have to have a lot of power it's got 28.3 pounds of torque at 2400 rpm so you know, it takes some crush compression to do that kind of thing. So, it doesn't want to, I mean, that's a lot of compression, right? So, what it does is, when it, it's on your exhaust side, when, when you go to start it, 
it you know your exhaust valve is opening a little bit to relieve some of that pressure okay now when it does that okay it's easier to crank and then once it once it's running okay it's kind of like it works on some centrifugal force that release valve is not is not working now and you're, you're having full compression now i'm not sure if that one's got one i would think it it seemed to me when i was checking the valves the other day it seemed like like it did have one it was working so that could that could be my low 75 psi but that still does not uh constitute a leak it shouldn't be leaking anywhere you shouldn't hear any air coming from any anywhere and what that that little bit of checking we did there that thing dropped uh down to 92 so it dropped 10 pounds or a little over um just in that a short amount of time so i didn't go any more from there because i heard the leak now sometimes if you don't hear a leak leave it on there say for 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes whatever but significantly check your air pressure see what it's exactly on come back say 20 minutes later check your air pressure again and it should be you shouldn't lose any more than like a pound maybe two on an older engine but if it's if it's in excellent shape you're not going to lose any more than that. It should stay there. That that thing lost 10 pounds or maybe 11 uh, just in a few seconds. So I'm guessing we either, we either have a, a cracked valve. Uh, it's a valve issue on the intake side. Uh, maybe a bent valve. It could be a bent valve not causing it to close. It, it could still be carbon built up under there. So, But definitely we're going to pull the head off and check it out and go from there i think the rings are okay there was a little bit of blow by but nothing to speak of nothing was coming out the exhaust at all so anyway i, I just wanted to throw that in there um it, it's not real technical you know i'm not building a 500 horsepower 454 i'm not doing that it's a garden tractor but I do want it to run right if I'm going to sell it because I don't sell junk. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sell it to somebody unless it's right. Uh, everything I've sold, I've sold dozens of stuff out of this little grudge. And everything I've sold, everybody has been happy with it. So, that being said, I'm going to get off here, guys. I still try to cool down. Um, it's still 90 degrees. Real feel still 105. And it is... It's not even noon yet <laughs> so but i've been out there since um 9 30 so you know you're setting up your camera you're moving around you're getting your tools out and stuff like that then you do your filming and you want to make sure you get the right angle so it, it does take some time you know guys for us to make these videos for you guys so i know a lot of your you uh appreciate it and uh the other channels that you guys watch you know give them a thumbs up you know they they work hard and uh we just try to do the best we can for you we're not movie makers we're not filmmakers we're youtubers man we're just like you we're just guys grab a camera and film something and share it with you sorry for the break in the video but i just wanted to explain those things to you but we'll have more on it and i'll show you a complete tear down and uh we'll check the heads and show you how to put it back together that's a weekend project when I get the garage cleaned out and I can pull it in the garage and be a little bit cooler. So, all right, guys, back to the video. So, guys, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. It's hot out here, guys. So, I'm going to call it a day and go make some videos inside for you all where it's cooler. So, all right, guys, Shea Bear. The myth, the man, the legend. Don't forget to check out Monkey1000 channel. Check out BXX32. He's freaking awesome. Ben, thanks for the shout out the other day. You're great, man. Awesome job on your videos. Love them, man. So, alright guys, that being said, I'm out, man. I gotta I got go inside. So, take care, guys. Be cool.